There's a culture clash across the country. In the trenches tonight, public schools in the small town of Grant. Parents still battling over a middle school mural that includes LGBTQ and transgender symbols. Target 8 investigator Susan Samples reports the compromise the district thought it had has fallen apart. Susan? At last check, there was a compromise. We thought the district said the student artist had agreed to remove many of the symbols. Not anymore. Now she has an attorney. The complaining parents are not backing down, and the superintendent is urging civility in advance of another board meeting Monday. In small town West Michigan, a conflict that's grabbing big attention. At the center, this mural that includes, among other youngsters, two kids wearing clothes with LGBTQ and transgender symbols. We started seeing it on, you know, national news sources and, you know, it's kind of heartbreaking a little bit to see that from my hometown. So, you know, That's what prompted Mitch Bisson, now an attorney in Las Vegas, to reach out to the young artist's family to help at no charge. Right now, we're just trying to protect the mural and make sure she's, you know, not being harassed. She is the 16-year-old high school student who won an art contest and the privilege of painting the mural, which covers a wall inside the Teen Health Center at Grant Middle School, a center that is leased and operated by an outside health care agency. And the artist, I'm sure, had great intentions. These parents were among the 100 or so who showed up at an October school board meeting, most of them there to demand the mural's removal, calling some of the symbols satanic. We just want a neutral place for our kids, you know. We don't want um, our kids being politicized. The parents who prayed before the interview do not want anything representing sexual identity on this wall. That is not the case for supporters who showered the artist with encouraging letters, including cards from a classroom of kids in California. A GoFundMe raised $6,000 for the teenage artist. Supporters made sure the district knew their stance too, calling the mural beautiful and a light in some children's dark tunnel. And the parents who want it removed were called blatantly transphobic and racist. Grant Superintendent Brett Zuver is asking all sides for civility. The idea of listening to each other, like really listening with some compassion, has eroded a little bit. Maybe Grant, Michigan can be an example for the rest of not only our county, but our state and even the country for figuring out a way to have people with different thoughts and viewpoints get back together again and be able to talk and truly listen to one another. And that, that's what we're hoping to do moving forward. That little symbol that looked kind of like a demon face is actually a, a character from a video game. The parents say it still looks satanic to them. The superintendent called this conflict a microcosm of what is happening across the country. It's a deepening cultural divide that will likely show itself again at the Grant School Board meeting Monday night.